Hi, welcome. This video focuses on alarming symptoms and changes in midlife that just might be caused by the hormone shifts that come with menopause. I know when I hit my 40s, my body started to experience some very shocking and worrisome symptoms, and I practically lived at the doctor. I was convinced that I was suffering from some terrible condition. And when I was told over and over again that nothing was wrong with me, and given the standard anxiety diagnosis, I worried even more. If this scenario sounds at all familiar to you, you're over 35 or you've had a hysterectomy, your terrifying symptoms might be caused by menopause. Here are the 12 scariest symptoms that may have been triggered by hormones. The first one I believe causes the most terror in ER visits are heart palpitations. Did you reach a certain age and all of a sudden start experiencing flops in your chest, a pounding or racing heart, or flutters that left you anxious and convinced you were suffering from a heart attack or other serious issue? You're not alone. I've spoken to hundreds of women and a very large percentage of them have had repeated or extensive heart tests to rule out problems due to the fear of heart palpitations. Drops in estrogen can cause an overstimulation of the heart, but unfortunately, that doesn't help to squash the fear even with a list of normal test results. Another symptom just as terrifying as heart palpitations are panic attacks. Many middle-aged women, some of whom have never experienced anxiety in their lives, are all of a sudden hit with panic, feelings of dread, a pounding heart, sweating, dizziness, nausea, shaking, tingling, shortness of breath, and pain, often out of nowhere and for no good reason whatsoever. The obvious conclusion is that they must be dying, and an ER visit often follows. It literally can feel like you're dying, and I don't wish these on anyone. Fluctuating hormones can cause an increase in cortisol and adrenaline and set off the body's fight or flight response. So if this is happening to you and the doctor can't seem to find a reason for it, it may be menopause related. I also hear from many women extremely concerned and unnerved by the sudden onset of dizziness that the doctor can't seem to find a cause for. It's happened to me and it stops me cold and leaves me with lingering anxiety because it is so unsettling. It also frequently causes a fear of driving or leaving the house where an episode of dizziness could risk their safety. It comes in many forms like disequilibrium, feeling faint, spinning or lightheadedness, and it can be linked to menopause. Shifting hormones can increase the risk for dehydration, cause blood sugar imbalances, raise anxiety and stress, affect the inner ear and nervous system, disrupt sleep, and cause hot flashes, all of which can lead to dizziness. Changes to breathing can also occur in midlife. More specifically, air hunger. I deal with this one occasionally and it is very disturbing. It feels like you can't breathe in enough air and in severe cases can feel like you might suffocate. I finally went and bought a meter so that I could check my pulse ox when my breathing felt off. It really helps alleviate anxiety to see a reading of 98 or 99%. The causes of air hunger in menopause are still not well understood, but increases in inflammation and dehydration might be factors. Chest pain is another frequently occurring and absolutely terrifying symptom that can come with menopause. It can take several forms and they're all concerning. The chest discomfort that scares me the most are the random sudden jabs under my left breast. I've had an ER and doctor's visit or two over those and I've spoken to many women who've also experienced similar painful jabs. Cramping, soreness, burning and tenderness can also be felt. Changing hormone levels can increase stomach issues, inflammation, and costochondritis, all of which can lead to chest discomfort. A panic-provoking event for those in perimenopause is flooding or extended bleeding. They can leave you convinced that something dire or fatal is going on, and an obvious cause is not always discovered by the doctor. In those cases, erratic hormones are usually the culprit. Bleeding for a month or longer is not unheard of 
and episodes of super heavy flow have terrified a good number of us. Some women are lucky, but for the vast majority of us, the ovaries do not go out with a whisper. Number seven is a symptom I struggle with and have talked about many times because it's beyond disturbing. It's paresthesia, the feeling of tingling, pins and needles, electrical or numb sensations, and burning all over the body. The fear of neuropathy, MS, or other undesirable condition can be overwhelming and fuel anxiety. Drops in estrogen can cause changes to the nervous system, skin, and anxiety, and trigger paresthesia in various areas of the body. So if the doctor can't find a cause for it, menopause might be the answer. Adrenaline surges also make the list. Sudden waves of adrenaline seem to occur more frequently during menopause, likely due to chronic increased anxiety and stress caused by shifting hormones, and they can result in some very shocking sensations. I describe it as the feeling you get when you dream that you're falling or when you drive over a hill too quickly. It's a sudden flop in your chest that can jack up your heart rate and leave you with lingering anxiety, and it can occur completely unprovoked. Very disturbing. If you're struggling with a weird sensation of a lump in your throat or issue swallowing, and the doctor can't give you a specific reason for it, you may also have menopause to blame for that. I struggle with this particular symptom and it's very upsetting and disturbing. There are several possible reasons in menopause that might trigger throat issues, like increases in dry mouth, inflammation, anxiety, allergies, or reflux. Vaginal atrophy is number 10. Any symptom affecting the vagina will obviously trigger fear and worry, so constantly feeling pain, burning, itching, and UTI sensations is understandably upsetting. I'm asked frequently what could be causing discomfort in that area when the doctors are saying everything looks normal. Vaginal atrophy is often the answer and it can be brutal. If you're struggling with this, a little bit of vaginal estrogen cream can be a lifesaver. Also on the list are internal vibrations. This symptom is just plain weird, but it's very unnerving. It feels like swallowing a bunch of iPhones on vibrate and you can feel certain parts of your body buzzing. It can hit pretty much anywhere and although it's usually not painful, it does ignite concern in much the same way as paresthesia and for similar reasons in menopause. Number 12 is blood pressure spikes. This has happened to me a couple of times. The first occurrence scared me so badly I actually went to the ER to be checked out. Blood pressure does typically rise in menopause, but these are episodes of high numbers that are completely sporadic and out of the norm. Mine seem to be tied to digestive flares that started in menopause, strangely enough, but I believe that increases in anxiety in menopause may also play a role. If you can think of other scary symptoms that might be tied to menopause that I haven't mentioned, share them in the comments. I'm always happy to hear from you. I wish you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.